Section 9.3. Now we're going to go backwards. Given the x and y components, find the magnitude and direction. So we're going to be given the distance along the x, the distance along the y, and we're going to have to calculate the angle and the hypotenuse. But the first thing you want to do is you want to look at the signs of ax and ay to determine what quadrant the final angle should be in. So if ax is positive and ay is positive, that means you're in quadrant 1. If ax is negative, ay is positive, you're in quadrant 2. AX is negative and AY is negative, that puts you down here in quadrant 3. And AX is positive, AY is negative, that's quadrant 4. Again, I'm just looking at these as ordered pairs. So quadrant 1 has positive, positive. Quadrant 2 has negative, positive. Quadrant 3 has negative, negative. Quadrant 4 has positive, negative. If we recall back uh, from our angles, uh, quadrant 1, the positive angle was the reference angle. Quadrant 2, the positive angle was 180 degrees minus the reference angle. Quadrant 3 was the positive angle, uh, positive angle was 180 plus the reference angle. And for quadrant 4, the positive angle is 360 degrees minus the reference angle. You can refer back to uh, my chapter 8 notes uh, just to refresh your memory if you need to. And remember the reference angle is always a quadrant 1 angle and it's less than 90 degrees. So let's give one a try. Given Rx is a positive 1465 and Ry is a positive 6.93, find the magnitude and direction. Again, I'm just randomly picking Rx and Ry. So first thing I want to do is notice the uh, values. Are they positive or negative? Well, Rx is positive and Ry is positive. So positive and positive means my final answer should have a quadrant 1 angle. If not, I will have to use uh, these formulas down here to get it into the correct quadrant. First thing I do is the hypotenuse is the square root, again, Pythagorean theorem, Rx squared plus Ry squared. So it's going to be 1465 squared plus 693 squared. 1465 squared is 214.62. 6.93 squared is 48.02. So I'm going to add 214.62 plus 48.2, and that gives me 262.64. Now I take the square root of that, and I get 16.21. Uh, again, check the computer as to how they want it rounded, but I just have it as two places here. This is the magnitude, uh, or if you want to think of it, this is the hypotenuse of the right triangle. So, so far what I've found is this. This would be 16.21 given my distance along the x was 14.65 and the distance along the y was 6.93. Now I need to find theta. So theta is equal to uh, inverse tangent of ry over rx. Again, uh, it's opposite over adjacent. And I talked about that in the last section uh, right here, uh, finding the magnitude Pythagorean theorem. And the angle is opposite over adjacent. So if you need to review that, you can look at that last section. So it's going to be Ry is 6.93, Rx is 1465, so 6.93 divided by 1465 is 0 0.473. I take the inverse tangent, I'm taking the inverse tangent because I'm looking for the angle, so on my calculator it's second function tangent uh, of 0 0.4730, again in degree mode, gives me 25.31. This is my reference angle, and it's also uh, my positive angle quadrant 1 because that's what I'm looking for. I needed a quadrant one angle, uh, and I decided that up right here, very first, quadrant one. So 25 is quadrant one, so that is my answer, 16.21 uh, at an angle of 25.31. Let's try this one. This time I'm given Rx is a negative 628 and Ry is a negative 406. Again, I want to find magnitude and direction. First I look at the signs. Uh, Rx is a negative, Ry is a negative. A negative and negative means I need quadrant 3 angle. So same steps, I go through using Pythagorean theorem and then I do the inverse tangent Ry over Rx. So Rx is negative 628, Ry is negative 406. I square both of those. When I square 628, again the negative squares out, I get 394, 384. When I square 406, I get 164836. I add those together and get 559220. When I take the square root of that, I get 747.81. That's the magnitude. Now I go looking for the angle. 
The angle will need to be adjusted at the end because I need quadrant 3 angle. So Ry over Rx, so it's negative 406 over negative 628. Two negatives is a positive, uh, but I would want to use the positive angle anyway. Uh, that way it will always give me the reference angle. And again, I talked about that in Chapter 8. You can review that if you need to. Inverse tangent, 406 over 628. So I divide that out, I get 0.6465. Second function, inverse tangent, I get 32.88. This is a reference angle. Again, it's a reference angle because it's less than 90. It's quadrant 1. I need quadrant 3 angle because I decided that up here. So quadrant 3 angle is 180 plus the reference. Again, that's right here. 180 plus the reference. So 180 plus 32.88 gives me 212.88. So my final answer is 747.81 at an angle of 212.88. Let's try quadrant 2 angle. Quadrant 2 angle has Rx negative and Ry positive. So again, negative positive is quadrant 2. The steps to get the hypotenuse is exactly the same, and the steps to get the angle are exactly the same. So let's look at the hypotenuse. Rx squared, Ry squared, so 329 squared, 428 squared. I have the numbers in the middle here, uh, so 108, 241, plus 8, 183, 184. Again, that's just squaring those. When I add them up, I get 291, 425. Take the square root, I get 539.84. That's my magnitude. Angle is inverse tangent, Ry over Rx. Ry is 428, Rx is a negative 321, 329. But I want to use all positive numbers here because that will force me into quadrant 1 to get the reference angle on my calculator. So I'm going to use 428 over positive 329. So 428 divided by 329 is 1.301. Second function, inverse tangent, again I'm looking for the angle, comes out to 52.45. Again, I forced it to be quadrant 1 angle, which is my reference angle, but I need quadrant 2. Quadrant 2 is equal to 180 minus the reference angle, so 180 minus 52.45 gives me 127.55. So my final answer is 539.84 at an angle of 127.55. Finally, quadrant 4. Positive Rx, negative Ry. So positive negative puts me in quadrant 4. Magnitude is done the exact same way. Square, add them up, square root. So 43.6 squared, negative 32.7 squared, which is about 1900.96 plus 1069.24. Add those up, you get 2970.25. Square root is 54.5. Angle. So again, I'm going to do Ry over Rx, but I'm going to use all positive numbers so I get quadrant 1 angle out. So it's a negative 32.7 over 43.6. Switch it to positive, so it's a positive 32.7 over 43.6, which is approximately 0.75. Second function, inverse tangent, gives me 36.87. This is the reference angle, which is quadrant 1, but I need quadrant 4. Quadrant 4 is 360 minus the reference angle, so 360 minus 36 gives me 323.13. So my final answer is 54.5 at an angle of 323.13. The last topic in this section is adding vectors. You break down the components for AX and AY, etc. So if you have more than one uh, vector, which we will because we're adding vectors, I'm going to break them down to AX, AY, BX, BY, CX, CY, um, etc. But we're only going to do two, so AX, AY, BX, BY. Uh, I'm going to add all the x components, so I'll add ax with bx, then I'll add all the y components, I'll add ax or ay with by. Figure out what quadrant you're in after you add, then convert back to magnitude and angle and get the correct positive angles uh, to match the quadrants. So add the given vectors. Vector a is 253. Uh, Theta A is 219.6. Vector B is 160 at an angle of 275.6. So uh, it doesn't really matter uh, what quadrants the A and B are in. I don't really have to look at that until I break everything down to its components and add them up. 
So breaking down to the components, AX is going to be magnitude cosine, AY is magnitude sine. So 253 cosine 219.6, cosine of 219.6 is 0 0.7, negative 7705. When I multiply a negative 0 0.7705 times 253, I get a negative 194.94. AY is 253 times sine of the angle. The sine of 219.6 is a negative 0 0.6374 times 253 gives me AY is a negative 161.27. I do the same thing for B now. Magnitude cosine, magnitude sine. So 160 cosine of 275.6 gives me BX of 15.61. Uh, 160 times the sine of 275.6 gives me BY of minus 159.24. Now I'm going to find the resultant vector. The resultant vector, they usually signify as a capital R because that's the value of the vector after you add. So the resultant vector x component is ax plus bx. The resultant vector y component is ay plus by. So ax was a negative 194.94 right here. Uh, bx is 15.61 right there. So I add those two up and I get a negative 179.33. AY plus BY for RY now. AY is a negative 161.27 and BY is a negative 159.24. So when I add two negatives, I get a negative 320.51. The next thing I do is look at this to determine quadrants. RX is negative, RY is negative. Negative, negative means quadrant three is needed. So I go back to get magnitude. So I do Rx squared plus Ry squared. So negative 179.33 squared plus 320.51 squared gives me the square root of 134885.91. Press the square root button and I get a magnitude equal to 367.27. Now for my angle, inverse tangent of Ry over Rx. So it's a negative 320. 0.51 over a negative 179.33. Two negatives make a positive. But again, if this did not come out positive, I would force it to be positive. So I end up with a quadrant one angle initially. So I can use that as my reference angle to calculate which quadrant I need. When I divide 320 by the 179, I get 1.787. Inverse tangent gives me 60.77 degrees. This is a quadrant one. I need quadrant three. And again, I need quadrant three because right here I decided that R, Y, X and R, Y were both negative. So it's 180 plus the reference angle. So it's 180 plus 60.77. That gives me 240.77. My final resultant is 367.27 at an angle of 240.77 when you add those two vectors together.